Hi everyone, this is the Social Lock Picker. In this video, we're going to be having a look at this, a little window lock. And this one is made by Era. So what is it? It's, um, this particular one is called um, a snap lock or an automatic lock. Um, the reason being is you only need the key to open it. Um, the key only also turns clockwise and it releases this little striking plate. Now this little striking plate you would fit to um, the casement of a window. Um, in this case, I think this one's actually designed for a metal window. So you'd fit that to the casement. Um, you don't need your key as I say. Um, that would be on the casement window. and just pull it shut and and as I said just need the key to release it so there you go nice little lock um, just show you the, the mechanism um, as you see it just operates the one way um, and the key itself is rather nice I like it anyway um, there you go let's just have a look at that for you Lovely, lovely little key. There you go. So that's the automatic or snapshot window lock by ERA. Um, this particular one made for a metal window frame. Right. Without this bit, the key, the answer. Let's see if we can open it. So let's put it in the vise. Right, here we are then. Hopefully, you can see the keyway quite well. Um, it's quite a small keyway. And although it's a wafer lock, the one thing I'm not going to be able to do is get in there with my wafer picks. Um, as you can see, these are quite big compared to that little keyway. You just see. So what I'm going to do is um, try and get in with my jiggler keys. I've got this set, which you can just see. Um, it's quite a nice little set that I've got from Southlord. Um, not used them much, but handy little set to have. Now the other thing that I've been trying to work out is the tension. Um, probably not going to get enough tension just using the jigglers. Um, and this keyway doesn't really have a lot of room to get any sort of tension ranges in. Now remember, this keyway only turns, the core only turns clockwise. So using my smallest bottom of the keyway wrench, I can turn it clockwise, but I have got absolutely no room to get anything else in there. And if I try... Putting that in the other way, counterclockwise is fine. A little bit more room, but the lock's not going to open if I'm doing that counterclockwise. So bottom of the keyway tension is not an option. Top of the keyway tension, again, considered this, but as you can see, um, this is probably, no, this one. Anyway, this is one of the smaller ones I've got. It's going to go straight over those wafers, so not a chance of picking with those, I don't think. So I'm left with this. This is um, another handy little wrench that I've got. I can't remember where I got it from, but it has little serrations all the way around it. So that's what you can probably hear that. So hopefully the plan is... I'm going to pop it on this little ledge right at the top of the keyway and see, actually that's quite firm, see whether we can get it open, applying some tension on that bit. So where are we? Jigglers. Um, let's have a go with this one. 
I'm not going to put too much tension on because I don't want to, to lose it. I'm just going to try this little jiggler and see how we get on. So with just the jiggler, I don't think I'd have been able to get any sort of tension in this at all because the jiggler is quite thin. Hopefully. Keep the tension actually in. There, we go. there we've got it. So it just popped and wait for the there we go. Striking plates falling out. Not quite as easy as, as I'd hoped, but that's it. One era snapshot or automatic, automatic locking window lock. This one for a metal lock. There you go. So, if you enjoyed what you, what you just saw, um, if you want to see what I do next, Give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you again soon.